on the women's team, Peggy Cass, Phyllis Newman, and their teammates for the first game, Ellen O'Neill. On the men's team, Orson Bean, Howard Keel, and their teammates for the first game, Wilson O'Connell. From the Elise Theater in New York City, it's time to play Get the Message! The first half of Get the Message is brought to you by Chunky at the Chunky Factory New York World's Fair. By Gillette Wright Star, the personal power spray deodorant. And by Kitchen Ridge, the cookie and cracker people. And now, here's your host, Frank Buxton. Thank you. Thank you very much, and welcome to Get the Message, the game of clues where the men play against the women. On the women's team today, Peggy Cass and Phyllis Newman. You look all bright and sharp. You have your pencil all sharpened? You ready to go? I can. Good. Well, we'll see if you can get the message to your teammate, who is Ellen O'Neill, for this first game. Welcome to Get the Message, Ellen. Thank you very and much. good luck to you. Thank you. On the men's team, Orson Bean and Howard Keel. You look as bright and alert as the girls do, Orson and Howard. Yeah, but I have a dull crayon. <laughs> Sharpen it up and get ready to play Get the Message with your teammate, Wilson O'Connell of Fort Washington, New York. Welcome to our game, and good luck to you, too. Wilson. Thank you, Frank. Here's how we play Get the Message. We're going to show a message to the celebrity members of both teams. The message might be the title of something, a place, a name, a slogan, a phrase, a place, a thing. And it's up to the celebrity members of the team to make the contestant they're playing with get the message. And we'll take a look at the first message in just a minute. Okay, let's play Get the Message. The first team to get the message scores a point. Three points wins the game, and $100 and a chance to win more in our turnabout game. Celebrity panels, if you are ready, take a look at your monitors, and here is the first message. Awesome, oh, oh, oh. Now, don't confer. Just write down that one word clue. No capitalized letters, and of course, you can't use a word or a variation of a word that appears in the message itself. <laughs> ladies, are you ready? Yes. Gentlemen, Orson, raise your hand when you're all set. All right, we're starting with the ladies' team this time. Peggy Cass, your clue, please. Honeymoon. Honeymoon. Phyllis Newman, your clue. Watering. Watering. Helen, do you get the message? Niagara Falls. Yeah! That's right. <laughs> Very good. Honeymoon and watering adding up to Niagara Falls, which was the message. It gives one point to the ladies' team and no points to the men's team. You've got to come from behind, and we're all set to give you a chance because the men are starting this time. Here is the message. Right <clears throat> Write down that one word, clue. Incidentally, all decisions on the acceptability of clues are made by Dr. William Barnes, consultant to the New World Dictionary of the American Language. When you're all set, <laughs> Peggy has to look again. <laughs> you're all set. Raise your hands, please, so I'll know that you're ready. Phyllis, are you ready? Good. We're starting with the men's team. Orson Bean, your clue. Epithet. Epithet. Howard? Boom. Boom. <laughs> Wilson, do you get the message? Bronx cheer? No, I'm sorry. That is not the message. Well, so we'll go over to the ladies' team. And the first clue, please, from Peggy Cass. Referee. Referee. Phyllis? Yell. Helen, do you get the message? Um... A raspberry? Or... No, I'm sorry, that is not the message. And since no one has gotten the message, neither Ellen nor Wilson will play another round. The celebrity panelists will write down another one-word clue. This is your last chance to get the message. And we ask you to write down your answers because part of the game is trying to figure out the clues your partner and your opponents will be giving. The idea, of course, is not to duplicate, so you give your teammate as much information as possible. We recap for you. Epithet, boo, referee, and yell are the clues so far. Everybody ready? Starting with the men's team again. Orson Bean. Bleachers. Bleachers. Howard. Moida! Moida! Kill the umpire! Right! Very good. Very good. <laughs> Kill the umpire was the message, and Wilson, you have come from behind to tie up the score one point to one point. Remember, three points, you win the game and a chance at the turnabout game. Good clues. Boo and Moida and yell and referee. Let's see how well you do with the next message, starting with the ladies. Here is the message. One word clue to leave. Again, no capitalizations. Ooh. And you can't use any word or a variation of the word that appears in the clue itself. Score is tied. The ladies are going first. Howard, are you ready? You're still thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this sounds uh, right. Yes, it takes a long time to write down one word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you all said Howard? Okay. We're starting with the ladies' team. Peggy Cass, your clue, please. Cartoon. Cartoon? Phyllis? Oh, fooling. Cartoony. Cartoony. <laughs> Ellen, do you get the uh, message? Little off and Annie? No, I'm sorry, that is not the message. So we'll jump over to the men's team, see how they do. Orson Bean, your clue. Rodent. <laughs> Rodent. Howard Keel? Song. Song. Wilson, do you get the message? 
I thought I did. Mickey Mouse? That's right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Mickey Mouse. Oh, right. Mickey, Mouse. Oh, right. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. My children will never forgive me for not knowing that song. For not knowing the song about Mickey Mouse, which is the one that uh, yeah, Howard was referring to. Yeah, well, I used to be one of those. He does have a yeah. wonderful voice, though. Yes, doesn't he, Arthur? Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm working on it. Very good. You've come from behind to get two points now, Wilson. The men have two points. The ladies have one. The next message, the men will start first. Here is the next message. Yeah. Let's see how you do with this one. Remember, the message can be a phrase, a slogan, a name of someone, a name of a place, a thing. It can be almost anything, really. The ladies are ready, gentlemen. You go first, but you should be ready. Huh? I'm ready. Okay. Orson, your clue, please. I'm really mortified. I can't spell it. Ariel. <laughs> Ariel. <laughs> I'm opening a school, Grant. Come on. <laughs> I'll have to disqualify. Howard? I have to disqualify. You are going to disqualify? You mean you are not I, going I to give a clue? I can't show my clue. All right. Well, then, uh, since you cannot show your clue, you obviously have written down an unacceptable one, but I'll tell you what. We will give it. Wilson a chance to guess on this first, on just the area right. alone. Yeah. The daring young man on the flying trapeze? Yes! 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 Very good, Wilson. Oh, man, the actual one was the man on the flying yeah. trapeze, but you gave us more than we asked for, so of course you did get the message. And that means that since you have three points, you have won the game, $100, and a chance to play the turnabout game. Now here's how we play this. We're going to show you a message this time, Wilson, and it's up to you this time to give it to your teammates in as few clues as possible. If they get it after just one clue, it's worth $100. After two clues, it's worth $50, and its value continues to drop as you use more clues. You all set? Orson, do you have a question? I inadvertently looked at it. I thought the other one was still there, and I saw the next one, so you better move it up. All right, I will tell you. We will move up the, to the next clue. I'll tell the people who are doing that to move it on up to the next message, rather, while we're waiting. Yeah. Some Boy Scouts. Right? Yeah, I'm glad you said that, though, Orson, because it simply would not have worked if you had already seen it. When all right, I think I they're ready now. Right. Remember, <laughs> it's up to you to get the message to your teammates. There's your first message for $100, a one-word <clears throat> clue, please, to Orson Bean, who has not seen this message. Um, Bonnet? Orson? Easter hat? No, I'm sorry, that's not right. Easter hat is not right. So for $50, a one-word clue to Howard Keel. Uh, March, Easter parade. That's oh. right. <laughs> Very good, that's $50. And you have another message. In fact, you have two more, but here's the next one. A one-word clue for $100, please, to Howard Keel. Genie. Oh, he's doing it. <laughs> he just said the word genie. I always use my hands when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, do you get the message? Chismet? No, I'm sorry, that is not the message. A one-word clue well, for $50 to, clue. I know it already. to Orson Bean. <laughs> no, let's have the clue. Uh, light. Lamp. <laughs> Did you say lamp, Orson? Lamp. You said lamp. I'm sorry, that's not acceptable. Oh, magic not, lamp. That is not the message. I Let's go down to the $25 level, please. <laughs> and a one-word clue now to Howard Hughes. Specific. Magic lantern. No, that's not the message either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're down to $10. <laughs> a one-word clue, your final clue to Orson Bean. Oh. <laughs> For $10, I don't work this Mythological. Way. Mythological? Mythological. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> rubbing the magic lamp, friends? <laughs> no, rubbing the magic lamp, friends, is not the message. The message was oh. Aladdin's lamp. Oh. Oh. You were close, but you didn't oh. get it. But you do have one more chance, Wilson. <clears throat> Here's another message. Take a look at it and give me a one-word clue for $100 to Orson Bean. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but... Uh, oh. <laughs> Just one word clue to Orson Bean. Chan. Orson, you get the message? <laughs> I thought it was good. I think it's marvelous, wasn't it? Uh, it's, uh, uh -huh. Sam wants you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the message. For $50, a one word clue to Howard Keel. Animals. Ah. Howard? Chin and animals. Goatee? No, I'm sorry, that's not the message either. <laughs> We're down to $25 now. We go again. That's very good, though. It's an awfully good answer for those clues. Unfortunately, it's not it right. <laughs> for $25, a one-word clue to Orson, please. Nursery. Uncle. 
Wiggly? No. That also is not the message. Once again, we're down to the $10 level of one word clue to Howard Keel, please. Oh. Blow. What did you say? Oh. Blow. Blow. Howard, do you get the message? Again, my children aren't going to forgive oh. me. No, you're doing fine. You're doing it's fine, Wilson. Uh, I'm sorry, time is up. The message I was... That is three little feet. That's right, uh -huh. but it's too late. <laughs> you did do very well, though, Wilson. You won $100 in the regular game, $50 in the turnabout game, giving you a grand total of $150. Ellen, we're sorry that you didn't win a game, but we do have for you a portable hair dryer by Ray Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for both of you for playing Get the Message. <laughs> we'll meet two more contestants for our game of Get the Message in just a minute. Okay, let's meet our players for the next game. Playing for the ladies' team, Betty Rosenfeld of Flushing, New York. And playing for the men's team, Dave Cooter of Miami, Florida. Welcome, Betty and Dave, and good luck to you on Get the Message. Let's get started right away. The first message is ready. Celebrity members of the team, lift the covers of your monitor. And here is your first message. Remember, you're the only ones who can see this message. Your teammates cannot. Write down a one-word clue. You know, if we don't have time to finish this game, I want to remind you, or any other game that we're going to play, the team that's ahead when our time is up is the winner. We'll be the winner. All set? All right, we're starting with the ladies' team. Peggy, your first clue, please. Naked. Naked? Phyllis? Bearbacker. Betty? Lady Godiva. <laughs> That's right, Betty. Lady Godiva is the message, and that gives you <laughs> horse and head side saddle. Yeah. Hour. <laughs> That's where you get the expression, hooray for our side. <laughs> hooray for our side, hooray for the ladies' side. They got one point. You have none, but uh, you'll have a chance now, because the men's team is going first. Here's your next message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No conferences now. Just write down that one word clue. It's important that uh, your teammates don't know what you wrote down. Phyllis is ready. Peggy is ready. Howard is ready. And Orson is ready. <laughs> With a frightful leer and a wringing of the hands, would you show us your first clue, please? Orson? Yes, I'm just laughing at my punctuation marks here. Toast. Toast. Howard? Go. Go. Dave, do you get the message? Uh, uh, bon voyage? No, I'm sorry, that is not the message. We'll skip over to the ladies' team. Peggy, your clue, please. Go! Another go! Phyllis? <laughs> go! A third <laughs> go! <laughs> Betty, do you get the message? Here's to you. No? Nope. I'm sorry, that is not the message. And uh, we'll continue in just a moment. Now, the celebrity members of both teams have written down another one-word clue for the second round of this same message. Let me recap for you. Toast and gulp have been the clues so far. We're with the men's team. Orson, your clue, please. Navy-like. Navy-like? <laughs> Howard? Your what do you clue, mean, please? Howard? Chicks. Chicks. <laughs> Dave, do you get the message? Uh, oh, oh, oh. On Dead Man's Chest, ho-ho-ho uh, and a bottle of rum. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not the message. <laughs> and we'll jump over to the ladies' team. Peggy, your clue, please. Swig. Swig? Phyllis? Navy. Down the hat. That's right. <laughs> Down the hatch is right. That was the message, and that gives two points for the ladies' team, one point for the men's team. Let's hurry right along, because we don't have much more time. The team that's ahead when the bell rings is going to be the winner. So take a look at this next message. Oh, 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 oh. It's a chance now for the ladies to win on this very first clue. Betty, you could get the message and win the game. Are you ready, men? Right. Well, the men are, the women are first this time. Orson, are you all set? Okay. Peggy? Harry. Phyllis? Singers. The Beatles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Singers, The Beatles was the message. Three points. You win the game. A hundred dollars and a chance to play the turnabout game. Now you already know how we play the turnabout game, so let's get right into it. Are you ready? Lift the cover, revealing your monitor. Your panel members, your team members cannot see their monitors. A one word clue for a hundred dollars, please, to Peggy Cass. Valley. Say it again. Valley. Valley? Uh. Yeah. Uh. 
Grand Canyon. No, I'm sorry, that's not right. Down to the $50 level of one word clue, please, to Phyllis Newman. Rudolph. I'm sorry, oh, that I is mean, not oh. acceptable. And what we do now is drop down to the $25 level, and we ask you, Peggy, with no further clues, to take a guess. Same song. No, that's not right. Now we're down to the $10 level. Another one word clue to Phyllis Newman. Singer. Valley. Oh, it sings Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You get the message? <laughs> um, uh, Rudolph Valley the singer. <laughs> no, Rudolph Valley is not the singer. The message was Rudolph Valentino. Oh, and the reason, oh, the reason that Rudolph was not acceptable, of course, yeah, is because I didn't say reindeer, I said yeah, it appears in the uh, message itself. All right, that's all right. You have two more chances, two more messages. Here's the next message. A one-word clue this time, please, to Phyllis Newman. Sergeant. Sergeant. Um, uh, Phil Silvers. No, that's not the message. A one word clue, please, to Peggy Cass for $50. Mediators. Mediators. Peggy, do you get the message? Uh, Court Marshal? No, that's not right. We're down to the $25 level. A one word clue, please, to Phyllis Newman. Calm. Calm. Would you say that again, please? Calm. Calm, C A L M. Thank you. Calm, Sergeant. Calm. Calm, mediators. Sergeant. Mediators are the clues so far. Calm, Sergeant. Uh, keep, uh, Justice of the Peace, Keeper of the Peace. Uh, no, that's not the message. Uh, <laughs> For $10, way. a one word clue, please, to Peggy Katz. Emissaries. Emissaries, calm, mediators, sergeant. Oh. oh. Peggy? Uh, holy cow. It's Peggy's guess. Uh, um. I'm sorry, the time oh. is up. Oh. Phyllis, do you know it? Was it United Nations? No, yeah, it's the Peace Corps. Oh, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you say it? Well, no matter. One more message, another chance for $100. Oh. Here is your message. <laughs> All right. There is your message. A one-word clue for $100 to Peggy Cat. Egg. Egg? Uh... Take it every Sunday. No, that's not the message. For fifty dollars, a one-word clue to Phyllis Newman. Nursery. Humpty Dumpty. Right. Down the <laughs> Very good. Well, Betty, you won hundred dollars in the regular game and one hundred and fifty dollars in the turnabout game, and the bell that you just heard means that our time is up. Congratulations Thank to you, you, however. Dave, we're sorry that you didn't win the game, oh, but wow. we're glad that you were with us, and we have for you an American tourister at his shake Thank, Thank you. you both for playing. Get the message. <laughs> we'll be back to check the day's totals right after this message. Well, the scores are all totaled. Let's see how you did for your teammates. Ladies, you won $150 for your teammates. And men, you won $150 for your teammates. Very good. And we'll see you all tomorrow. And I hope we'll see you tomorrow, too. This is Frank Buxton saying goodbye for Get the Message. Additional prizes for Get the Message are for the man a slim, prim attaché case with detachable folder for papers and other distinctive features styled by American Tourist. And for the women, the advanced conditioned air bottle portable hair dryer offering quiet, comfort drying in a lightweight case from Rayette. Get the Message has been brought to you by x lax with a gentle, dependable overnight laxative. By Vita Point, by Clairol, made to dress a woman's hair, and by O.J. Frozen Florida Orange Juice. Get the Message is a Mark Goodson, Bill Thompson production. Johnny Oakes speaking. This program was recorded.